Hi YouTube and welcome to Maria's Kitchen. I'm going to ask you before I start to just excuse my voice. I am coming down with a cold, that's why I sound so nasally. But those of you who are mothers and housewives can relate to me, you know that we do not have a day off in the kitchen. So we got to get at it. So today I'm going to make for you stuffed um, breaded pork chops. So um, these are the ingredients. Okay, so I have my pork chops already here, and they're already seasoned. I'm gonna tell you what I used. These are four pork chops, and they're thick. So first you're gonna rinse it in um, um, vinegar and cold water, and then you're gonna add um, cumin, black pepper, sazon, adobo, some fresh garlic, and this is the vinegar I use. This is uh, I use white wine vinegar. The reason why it's in this bottle is because I use a gallon and I, you know, serve it out. Okay, so this I had it seasoned because I sectioned my meat and I season it when I buy it and then I store it in the freezer. So this is what you're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do one first. So what you're basically doing, you're going to leave the fat attached to it. Leave the fat on the side and you're going to make like a pocket now if you can get the pork chop a little thicker that would be awesome okay let me just get a better knife get this one this knife instead okay what you're doing is you're creating a pocket see that inside that's where we're going to stuff our spinach. Now, I am stuffing this with spinach. So, you're going to rinse your spinach, okay? And I am using, you use mozzarella cheese or provolone cheese or whatever you have. This is what I have, the, the cheese sticks, which is just like a mozzarella. Huh? Yeah. So, this is what I'm going to use. So, in the meantime, now, I'm going to cut it on the same board because... You know, I know you got to watch it for cross-contamination, but I am going to use it on the same board because this whole cheese is going to go inside. So I'm going to use the same knife. I'm going to cut it in half like this. And then I'm going to cut it again because I do not know if I'm going to be able to fit the whole thing. So now, my spinach is already washed. So I'm going to stuff inside. And make, remember, it's like a pocket. So stuff on the inside and that on the side and then I'm gonna put layer my cheese on the inside I think no I can't put three okay so then you're gonna cover it back up cover it as best as you possibly can with the spinach now what I am gonna do when I forgot to grab is toothpicks Okay, now with your two picks, you're going to um, close the side here. Now, make sure you put your spinach first, and then you put your cheese, and then you cover it with more spinach so that when you cook it, your cheese, not all the cheese comes out. Some of it is going to be dripping on the sides, but that will be fine. As long as all of it doesn't come out, you're trying to keep as much of the cheese inside as possible. Okay, so let me get my two picks. Here are my toothpicks. So what you're basically gonna do is you're just gonna cover it. You're gonna do it like like if it's a little a needle and thread. So for one, I'm gonna use two toothpicks. See that? And you're gonna take this one and you're gonna do the same. Now, if you want, you can make this a little deeper because I actually stopped my pocket here because I didn't want to make a hole. But you can make it a little deeper and you'll have a little bit more room. Now, if you can get the pork chop that's thicker, it'll be a lot better. So you're going to repeat the process for all four pop pork chops and then you're going to put it on the side. Then I'm going to clean my area and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I got all of my <clears throat> boneless pork chops. They are already stuffed. Next, you need a pot, a frying pan. Olive, um, not olive oil, um, vegetable oil, not all the way up, less than half. It's just to cook it real quick. 
and um, you're gonna need all-purpose flour in a bowl um, any kind of breadcrumbs that you want I'm using the um, Progresso Parmesan breadcrumbs and you're gonna need another bowl with two eggs so first things first whisk the eggs running out of space put this porch up here for now you're gonna start with the flour mixture first I'm gonna do a pork chop at a time okay so you're gonna dip it in the flour mixture now the flour mixture I didn't season because uh, my pork chop has enough seasoning but you can season your flour mixture if you want and this is messy make sure you get a good uh, coat on it next dip in the egg mixture now I use two large eggs uh, because the pork chops are pretty thick and big okay next breadcrumbs Yeah, I must use one again, I told you. Okay, now, this is how I know when my oil's hot. I put a little piece, it starts bubbling. See it bubbling there? It's hot enough. Oh, you're gonna place it. Now, you're not gonna cook this completely. You're just gonna cook the bread crumbs to like a light golden and repeat the process uh, dip it in your flour and have a plate with paper towel to drain it uh, we're gonna finish cooking it in the oven okay egg mixture If you have a bigger bowl, use a bigger bowl. And this is what I had available. So, next, breadcrumbs. I like to pat my bread, pat it down, just to make sure it has a good amount of breadcrumbs. Okay. Down. And repeat that with the rest. Okay, so I'm going to turn the first one over. See, that's what you're looking for. A light golden. And this one, let me just test this one. Not yet. This is what you're looking for. So you're going to get the same color on the other side, and then you're going to drain it. And we're going to cook the rest in the oven. Okay, so this is what my pork chops look like. They're not cooked all the way through these so thick pork chops. So next, you're gonna need um, turn your oven on 350 degrees, heat it up. Um, you're gonna need a baking dish. Now the oil is already drained. You don't, you don't, uh, you don't need to put anything in the oven. Okay, you know, carefully grab it so that the breadcrumbs don't come off. You know what? If they're warm, you can just grab them with your hands. So I'm going to do so I don't want to break them. I'm going to put them in a baking dish. And um, I'm going to bake them, I'm going to say, for about 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes, or maybe 30, depending on how it is. Um, I'll let you know how, how long I cooked it for. So you're going to place it in the oven, and let the oven do the rest of the cooking 